Hey, I'm Guy. I'm John. It's our YouTube channel. Subscribe to this channel. Give the video a like. Like that. Drop the uh, little podcast below in the description as well. Subscribe to that. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo goes home, John. Niners Patriots. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Remember Belichick? Text him after every win, those final five wins after yeah. he traded him. Yeah. That was a story. Every win. Good job, Jimmy. <laughs> yep. If if Jimmy's been a sleeper cell for Belichick, we're about to find out this week. <laughs> Good job, Jimmy. <laughs> come back. Come home. Uh, he could have been the Patriots quarterback in this. You know, if the time, if things hadn't timed up the way they did, maybe he would have been the Patriots quarterback. If I week. told you right now, does Jimmy Garoppolo take another snap for the Patriots in his career? I'd say as long as Belichick's there, it's it's the a possibility. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, look, we, we've talked a lot about him after the last game. Uh, Not for $25 million, I'll promise you that much, though. No. <laughs> the, the statistics did not back up what we all saw with our eyes, that he needs to be better, all that kind of stuff. Here's what I will say to, since after four days of saying what he, what he hasn't done well. I think we could say, look, he did do what he was asked to do last Sunday at home against the Rams. And in some ways, the Rams, particularly up front, defensively are more intimidating than the Patriots are. Now, they also got a rookie defensive coordinator in the NFL. This week you got Belichick, so it's a different animal. But <laughs> Dad. but I do, Jimmy did do what he was asked to do last week. The Part of the question is, like, what is Kyle, and this I think is the heart of a lot of the way we talk about Garoppolo, going back to last year, what is it that Kyle is asking him to do? Because we know you can understand what a coach thinks of his team by the way he calls a game. And uh, and I think, the, so my big question this week is, what is it that Kyle is going to be asking Jimmy to do? Well, I know this. The Patriot defense that night against Seattle when they just kind of got smoked. Since then, they've been pretty good, guy. Like, they punked Derek, right? They took away Waller. The, the, the Raiders couldn't do anything. They won that game 36 to 20, and I'm pretty sure there was a late touchdown in that game. It didn't feel that close. The Chiefs game, people forget because the final score was 26 to 10. It was six nothing at half. Yeah. And Mahomes was just Belichick. Remember, people were like, "God, this guy has practice. How's he doing this?" It's like he he's Bill Belichick. He's got some schemes. And last week, again, way worse offense than Mahomes. I didn't realize this until I heard actually someone say this, even though it makes sense when you look at the number. The Broncos kicked six field goals. Like that was their 18 well, points. Well, Drew Locke was wasn't Drew Locke under 50 percent passing? Yeah, he was like 10 to 24. Like he, they destroyed him. Like so, I think is it fair to say this Patriot defense, beside Gilmore, probably goes under the radar because they don't have all like the the hot the name guys because a lot of them opted up. Is like one of the more underrated defense so far this year in the NFL. Like this is the once I kind of look at these numbers, I go, and even just watch them play, and you know that like whatever Jimmy doesn't do well. And I don't pretend to like, I think what he doesn't do well right now is just throw the ball. But like any specific coverage, any specific look, Belichick will know that. Not from his time around there, but studying him this yeah. year. Like what's yeah. throwing him off these last couple of years. I wouldn't expect Jimmy to like look that comfortable, at least in the first half. So I, I know what you're saying. I think we need to get Jimmy back. I, I think it's going to be a little harder the more I've thought about it than, you know, at first. Like, oh, the Patriots are shitty. Yeah, their offense is a little shitty, but their defense, like – they could hold Mahomes to, you know, no touchdowns for a half. Like, what do you think they could do to Jimmy Garoppolo? Just clearly they just make you uncomfortable with different looks. No one is more comfortable running different looks than Belichick. And it's why I think Kyle, you know, probably gets up for this matchup because you never truly know. Like, when you play a lot of teams, you know what they're going to do. This one, fuck, I don't know. Like, are they going to have some crazy coverage for Kittle? Or do they think, like, Debo's the guy? Like, I'll be fascinated yeah, well, to see... You with boats are out. I don't know. We talked about, I, I don't feel last... that confident about Jimmy going into this game guy five for 79. That's Waller and Kelsey combined. Now, again, the beauty is the Niners. I think, uh, rugs didn't play in that game. The Niners have more weapons than the Raiders did in that game. The chiefs thing is crazy. Um, but in the end, that game turned into what, from a talent standpoint, it should be, but, but he, but he's played well against Mahomes now twice. Cause remember in the, uh, AFC championship game, He's the best. When they ultimately, when they won, yeah, it took him away for a half. That was his MVP year. You're going up against the best. <laughs> yeah. So, and the other thing is you don't, now, are, is this what we saw last week? Is that just what you're getting from Jason Verrett and Emmanuel Mosley? 
Is that what you're getting from? Well, I mean, that's where like, because Sherman's not coming back to the E-Man. bye. E-Man. Well, that's where it's like Sherman being out till the bye, which was like, whoa, the bye. You're like, when's the bye? In two weeks? You're like, no, it's week 11. You're like, well, what's fucking what? <laughs> you know, when did this injury become this serious? This is the game I think you can get by for them on defense. I think the next three weeks get a lot scarier. I do think this, though, probably is a game. You Like you said, it was – we're recording this before the Thursday night game. That was the lowest point total. I think like 43, and this was the second lowest point total. I mean, honestly, it might not even get close to like 45. Like yeah. it could just be 16 to 7 or something, you know? I, I don't it's expect – 43 and a half. Did you say that? No, I, I said 45. Number. It's yeah, 43 and a half. half. Yeah, I mean, 2014 or something like that. Like, the Cam Newton we've seen beside the Seattle game has been a lot more missed than hit. Just just in terms of just watching his balls. Like, they just – it's not – it'd be one thing, right, if guys are open and he's just – it's just like, God, they're just flying all over the place. And it could just be they're just not that talented at wide receiver, which they're not. I think it's the whole combination of things. It's just a weird Patriot offense – because Cam is a guy that you have to kind of like, I think he just takes some time to get used to one. Yeah. Well, just because the, the, you know Edelman's never been used to like uh, the scramble drill, the, the what drill? Like we just uh, we were like uh, three and three and throw what the scramble drill, right? It's just it's a it has to be different for him specifically, right? Just keeping plays alive, like it's it's way different than it ever was with Tom. Because you always just look back to the pocket, like is Tom looking at me? Now it's like. There's fucking Cam doing 360s, running away. Like, do I run far? Because that's one thing I do think guys get used to with the Russ, with the Mahomes, with the Rodgers. Like, there are you kind of learn his tendencies when he rolls certain ways. How do you ever – like, did you – in fairness, do you even run scramble drill when Tom Brady's your quarterback? Really? How often was he, like, rolling, you know, away from, like, rushes? That doesn't happen. They didn't play like that. Yeah. Because he couldn't. I mean, it's not even humanly possible. No, I – this – now I don't know. I don't. Did he ever leave the Cam. pocket? Does Tom ever leave the pocket? I don't feel like he ever does. He'll, he'll Why run straight he? line but, slide. I mean, does, do you count a quarterback sneak? Um, no, I'm, I'm talking like row. Like, no. When does he ever run away from D line or anything? You know. Uh, you know now the the mobile quarterbacks the Niners struggle with too. This Cam is not does not feel like that kind of guy necessarily. Right, the way Russ plays, even the way Kyler plays, but he is just he is a threat with his legs. The Niners are athletically down in terms of just, I don't know if I can count D Ford, but certainly Bosa. Right. And I, I, every time Mm -hmm. I watch them pass rush, I just think God, Kerry Hyder, does he need like six IVs after every game plays his ass off? These guys are everywhere, but they don't have in terms of like volume of guys that can truly chase athletic quarterbacks. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of those guys. Now they do have good linebackers still, right? Fred Warner is just going to be everywhere, but uh is to, what's what's the latest on tart have you seen uh no i have not all right i just well. think that i mean i would expect i saw that biederman tweeted that trent brown was a practice tart had the the growing the growing uh so I, I would say he'd probably be out be my guess tart means uh but no tart uh this is david lombardi that means the likely decisions to make it strong state like he won't play this all weekend right. Which, you know, did Tart ever become, I think, probably what you hope when he drafted a second rounder? No, but I do think he just solidified himself when his career was over. Like, I played in the league nine, ten years, and I was a good player. Like, he's a good start. He's a starting starting safety on a Super Bowl-level team. Like, now he might be on a good defense, right, the tenth best player, but still, he's a starter on a – like, he's a good player. To me, if you told me he just – he's your safety, you'd go, great. We don't have to worry. We're trying to win the Super Bowl. We don't have to draft safeties. We're not signing safeties. We're doing other stuff. He's just your safety. Yeah. Who would have thought, like, if I would have told you three years ago Jimmy Ward would become better, like, dramatically better in Tart, and you feel like Jimmy's kind of an impact player and Tart's just kind of there, but solid, but just – you just need him out there. You don't really notice him, but he's fine. I don't think I'd have believed you. You know what that is, right? It's Trent Balky's fingerprint. All over the oh, team. yeah. No. Don't, don't sleep on old Balky. He's got those Jaguars playing well. 